you know, what you're hearing is so important. What you're hearing on a daily basis is so important. You know, you wouldn't allow all of this garbage and all of this negativity to come into your ears and then to come into your spirit and to de defile what you have. In the church world, I just believe that we put so much emphasis on on doing, on doing the right things and doing the right works of God and taking action and putting some works behind our faith. And, you know, I believe in that. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but I just think that sometimes we lose focus of this foundational fact that it's also important what, we, what we're hearing. And if you really look into it, what we're hearing and what we're believing is even more important than what we're doing. And you're probably asking, you know, why would you say that? What, what's that? How could you say that? Well, because what you're hearing, what you're taking in will eventually come out of you. And so if you're not hearing the right things and if you're not believing the right things, then you're not going to be able to do the right things. And so I'll, I'll always remember that right believing, right hearing will always lead to right doing. So it wouldn't help for me to say that you need to work, you need to work, you need to work. And all the while, you're not even hearing the right things in the first place. You're not even believing the right things. So let me ask you the question, what are you hearing at church on a weekly basis? What are you hearing on a daily basis from your fit, from your friends, from your family, from your coworkers? Are you hearing the true gospel? Are you, are you walking away from church feeling more condemned than when you came in, feeling more judged than when you came in, or more confused than when you came in? So what are you hearing? Are you hearing the true gospel? In Galatians uh, chapter 1, verse 6, Paul, he asked him, he says, I'm, I marvel, I'm, I'm so shocked that you've turned away from the gospel of Jesus Christ, that, that you've so soon been removed from him that called you into this grace of God unto another gospel, which isn't even another gospel at all, but there are some among you that would trouble you and that, will, that would want to pervert this gospel that I preach to you. So notice there first that Paul calls the grace of God the gospel. He calls the grace of God the gospel. So grace is not a subtopic. It's not a little message in our, theolo in our theological books. It's not a new fad that's coming to the church world, taking the church world by storm by all these new young preachers or anything like that. It's always been the gospel. Grace, the gospel has always been the grace of God, and it has been for thousands of years. And then he also says that there were some that came to pervert that gospel. So we see from that scripture that it's possible to have this true gospel be perverted by those that are around us. And so that's my question to you. Are you hearing a perverted gospel or are you hearing the true gospel? You know, we've all heard that scripture that says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Well, in the Greek there, the scripture actually says the word of Christ, the word of Christos. So why is that important? You're probably asking, why is that important? Well, because if we stay with the, word, the, with the Word of God, that could include what God said in the Old Testament. It could, it could extend all the way back into the Old Testament where God said that if you obey, you will be blessed. If you don't, you will be cursed. But if we, but if we realize the fact that it actually says the words of Christ, Christ said that I came not to destroy men's lives, but to save men's lives. And Christ came to bring this good news and to usher in this new covenant. And so that's what we should be hearing. We should be hearing the good news, the words of Christ. And the NLT actually says that. The NLT version of the Bible says that uh, we have to hear the good news. Faith comes by hearing, hearing the good news of Jesus Christ. And then we also have heard that scripture in Hebrews chapter 11 that says that without faith, it is impossible to please God. And we, we would all amen that and agree with that. Without faith, we cannot please God. But how do we get that faith? Well, we, in the scripture we just read in Romans chapter 10, where it says that faith comes by hearing the good news about Jesus Christ. So we could say where it says that faith comes by hearing, we could say that faith comes by hearing the good news of Jesus Christ. And without hearing the good news of Jesus Christ, it is impossible to please God. You, you can't please God without having faith, and you can't have faith without hearing the good news of Jesus Christ. So are you leaving church feeling more discouraged, feeling more condemned, feeling more judged you know, by your, your coworkers, your friends and family? If you do, you might wanna ask yourself, am I hearing the true gospel of Jesus Christ?